For the first time ever, scientists have managed to capture images of multiple planets twirling about another sun-like star. Yet despite its stellar host's resemblance to our own, the snapshots of this planetary system reveal it to be no place like home. Name TYC8998760001 and located about 300 light years from Earth in the constellation Musca, the star is similar in mass to the Sun. Its two known planets, however, are distinctly alien orbiting their star at about 160 and 320 times the Earth's Sun distance, respectively spans that are about four and eight times greater than Pluto's separation from our Sun. Both worlds are supersized, compared with anything in our solar system. The outermost planet is some six times heavier than Jupiter, and the inner one dips the scales at 14 times Jupiter's mass. Each of the worlds appears as a small dot around the star in images produced by the Spectropolarimetric High Contrast Exoplanet Research Instrument, or SPHERE which operates on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in northern Chile. The findings are detailed in a study published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. The really fascinating thing about this work is that it continues to add to the vast diversity of what systems and planets are out there, orbiting all sorts of stars, says Rebecca Oppenheimer an astrophysicist at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, who was not involved with the study. There is no single architecture for a planetary system. The new study marks only the third time that scientists have managed to take pictures of or directly image multiple worlds orbiting a single star. But those previously observed systems were around stars either much heavier or lighter than the Sun making them less comparable to our solar system. Direct imaging remains a rarity in the study of worlds beyond our planetary neighborhood. The vast majority of exoplanets in astronomers' catalogs are known solely through more indirect means. They betray their presence and most basic properties, mass, size, and orbit by periodically tugging on, or silhouetting against, their host stars, as seen from Earth. Directly imaging exoplanets is important, says study led Alexander Bone, an astrophysicist at Leiden University in the Netherlands, because by receiving light from planets, we can better characterize the atmospheres and elemental abundance of the atmospheres and the composition. That information, in turn, allows researchers to make more educated guesses about what an alien world's environmental conditions no one is contemplating life on either of the two newly imaged worlds, however. In addition to being bloated gas giants in frigid orbits with no meaningful surfaces on which organisms could dwell, they and their star far younger than our sun and the planets around it. The system itself is 17 million years old, Bone says, and our solar system is 4.5 billion years old. Even if they did possess habitable conditions, each world's relatively newborn status would not offer much time for biology to arise from the vagaries of chemistry. And although their planet's size and youth makes them co-candidates for life as we know it, these properties are precisely why astronomers can presently see them at all, because of the powerful infrared glow they emit as leftover energy from their formation. Smaller, older, more clement worlds that are closer into their stars remain out of current planet imagers' reach, but they could eventually be revealed by more powerful instrumentation on gargantuan telescopes. Already three extremely large telescope CLTs ground-based observatories with mirrors on the order of 30 meters across are approaching their final stages of development and astronomers are vigorously lobbying for NASA or other space agencies to launch even more ambitious planet imaging space telescopes in coming decades. Even so, we're an incredibly long way from taking pictures of Earth-sized planets, says Bruce McIntosh, an astrophysicist at Stanford University and principal investigator on the Gemini Planet Imager, another instrument that, along with SPHERE, represents the state-of-the-art in exoplanetary picture-taking. With current technology, 
we can see a planet that is about 1 million times fainter than the star. That's amazing. But even Jupiter, the biggest world in our solar system, is a billion times fainter than the sun. Whether a target planet next to a bright star is a giant gaseous swarm or a more Earth-like rock, Bone says, observing it is like viewing a firefly right next to a lighthouse, which is maybe a meter away. You want to see this tiny firefly, and you are 500 kilometers away. This is basically the challenge we're dealing with, to gather the extremely faint light of a world. Compared with its star, sphere, and most other planet imaging instruments use a device called a coronagraph, which blocks out almost all of the star's light effectively dimming the glare from the lighthouse so that nearby planetary fireflies can be seen. Besides more nuanced details of any given world, such images can reveal other wonders and raise important new mysteries that go to the heart of theorists' still nascent understanding of precisely how planetary systems emerge and evolve. In the newly imaged system, both planets formed around the same star and are the same age, but one is twice as massive as the other, says McIntosh, who was not involved in the study. Comparing their properties will help us see how the masses of planets affect their evolution. Further, he adds, subsequent images of the system could reveal more about the planet's orbits and even the presence of as yet unseen worlds. Are they aligned the same way planetary orbits in our solar system are aligned? Are they circular? McIntosh asks. Learning the answers to such questions could show whether these planets formed in the same way as the worlds around our sun or via some other process, and thereby provide another hint as to whether planets and systems such as our own are common or rare. Our solar system is just one specific planetary system a star with planets orbiting around it. Our planetary system is the only one officially called solar system. But astronomers have discovered more than 3,200 other stars with planets orbiting them in our galaxy. That's just how many we've found so far. Our Sun is just one of about 200 billion stars in our galaxy. That gives scientists plenty of places to hunt for exoplanets or planets outside our solar system. Even our closest neighboring stars are trillions of miles away. And all stars are enormous and extremely bright compared to any planets circling them. That means that picking out a planet near a distant star is like spotting a firefly right next to a brilliant lighthouse miles away. So far, the planets outside our solar system have proven to be fascinating and diverse. One planet, known as HD 40,307 grams, is a super-Earth, with a mass about eight times that of Earth. The force of gravity there would be much stronger than here at home. You would wait twice as much there as you do on Earth. Another planet, called Kepler-16, turns out to orbit two stars. A sunset there would provide a view of two setting stars. In another planetary system, called Trappist-1, there are not one, not two, but seven Earth-sized planets that could be covered in liquid water. The planets are relatively close together, too. If you were to stand on the surface of a Trappist-1 planet, you might see six other planets on the horizon. NASA's Kepler mission found more than 2,600 exoplanets during its nine-year mission. It has also made a list of more than 3,000 additional potential exoplanets that astronomers need to study more carefully to be sure that they are indeed planets. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Test Mission is continuing the hunt for exoplanets. While Kepler primarily searched within one particular patch of the sky, TESS is observing the entire sky to locate thousands of planets orbiting the nearest and brightest stars. The James Webb Space Telescope observe many of the exoplanets we have discovered and help scientists reveal details about these distant worlds. One of these worlds, known as LHS 475b, is almost exactly the same size as Earth and located 41 light years away in the Octans constellation. Scientists can't yet determine if the planet has an atmosphere, 
but the telescope's sensitive capabilities picked up on a range of molecules. Webb will get another crack this summer at observing the planet to build upon this data. The exoplanet was just one of Webb's cosmic discoveries. What's more, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, mission spied a second Earth-sized exoplanet in an intriguing planetary system 100 light-years away and the world just might be potentially habitable. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to watch other best videos that we made for you. Thank you.